Hey everybody, this is obviously for everyone, but it is also something that I want to prove to the mamas because we're in the basement. It's eight o'clock and Cannon will go to sleep in about a half an hour. So he's what, you can come say hi. He will, he's watching his show right now and I am going to get in my workout because Alan works late and that's just the way that it goes and that's how it's going to happen. So just showing you, it can look messy. It's okay. He might be crawling all over me in a few minutes, but it doesn't matter. For the first circuit, we're actually going to, I um, can stay down here on my knees because we're going to be kneeling. You want to work out with me? No, I've got to, I'm going to use them. Thank you, though. So kneeling, <laughs> shoulder presses, right side, left side, and then just an elbow plank. That's the whole circuit. So 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. <laughs> Mama needs them. Thank you. Kneeling, shoulder <laughs> press, and plank. Okay. It's all right. Thank you for fixing it for me. All right. Back up so they can see Mama. You can come beside me. All right, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, kneeling, right leg up first, left arm pressing, and then switching, and then elbow plank. That's it, ready? You got a 10 second countdown to get us started before the circuit starts, so. Ready? Go. You want to grab your dumbbells? So here, see, like when I look away, it throws your balance off and that's the purpose. So fighting for that balance, fighting for that center. So an offset press like this, instead of just working your shoulder, you're working your whole body. Nice tight core zipping up from your pelvic floor all the way out through the top of your head, pressing straight up. This is literally one of my favorite exercises. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Switching legs. So 15 seconds rest here. I'm even barefoot. That's the way that it happens. It's okay. You gotta get it done however we can. That's the purpose. It doesn't have to go. It doesn't have to always look the picture perfect setting or, you know, the room doesn't have to be perfectly set up or, you know, a specific workout room, wherever you can fit it in. If you are standing in your bedroom right now and your kitchen right now and your living room, wherever it's going to work, that's what matters. So wherever you can do it, if you can break this up, do one circuit and then <laughs> pause the video, do another one later, pause the video do it again later. That is more than okay. Almost there. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. So elbow plank. And don't worry, I can hear and see can. <laughs> Setting up the plank, elbows, go. So staying lifted through the back body. Don't crash down into the shoulders. Stay lifted up. Pull your belly button and your ribcage into your spine and keep that bottom level. It's okay if you need to drop down to your knees and then come back up. Go ahead and do that. You can drop down as many times as you need to. Take as many, as many like, you know, they're not, I don't even want to call them breaks. You're still working. It's just me where you are. Be patient with yourself. Also, know when to push yourself. Know when to take a break. Know when to let up and know when to push yourself. Almost there. Five more seconds. Rest. Back to the kneeling shoulder press. What do you got, babe? Three more seconds. Ready? Go. You got a picture. Oh, he's going to take a picture. Keep pushing. So stay. Make sure you don't crash down into that hip. So 
that left hip might want to push out if that's the the leg that's down so make sure stay lifted do as many as you can that's the purpose of circuit training you're always just doing as many as you can not as many as i can not as many as the next person and it doesn't even matter if one day you can do a lot more than you could you know today or maybe you'll be able to do a lot more tomorrow a lot of it ooh, rest switch sides a lot of it has to do with the stress on your body from the week or the day or every everything else that's going on with you so be patient with yourself meet yourself where you are ready go nice big deep breath still ooh, burning on my shoulders one side uh, might feel stronger than the other that's completely normal and that's completely okay whatever your body is telling you is okay <laughs> just listen to it keep that elbow in so staying in from the shoulder still in line with the shoulder all the way up and through the motion staying lifted nice and tall don't forget about your feet and your legs full body experience grounded down Lift it up from your pelvic floor all the way up through the crown of your head. Nice there. Rest down to the elbow plank. You're going to take a picture, Cannon. Ready? Three, two, one. Up. Good job, babe. Nice. Big deep breaths. I always, when holding a plank, I always say, go to your happy place, which maybe a plank is a part of your happy place. <laughs> maybe taking this time for yourself is your happy place or can become your happy place. Hang in there. 20 more seconds. Almost done. Full body experience of pushing out through your heels, staying lifted through the front of your body, lifted through your back body. You have got this. Hang in there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. I'm shaking. Rest. Very good. Last round. So back to the kneeling shoulder press. One more of each. You guys have got this. Set it up, full body experience, so that back foot is straight behind, go. That back foot is straight behind your knee, your knee is right underneath your hip, and everything's stacked up nice and tall in front of that. If you, you know, if some parts of your body are a little bit tighter, it might look or feel different. You might not even be able to get your arms straight up. Go as far as you can while maintaining, maintaining this lift, or better yet, Get rid of the weight. Go straight up without the dumbbell. You're still doing the work. It's fine. Don't judge yourself based off of what you think you're supposed to be doing. Just listen to your body. Be active in listening to your body. Almost there. Rest. I'm going to go no, no weights on the other side. So switching legs. That right foot behind that right knee. Left foot out. Stable, stable, grounded foundation. Ready? Two, one, go. Pushing, keeping that elbow in. I can, it's still, still burning my shoulder. It's still working my core. Still a full body experience, even without the dumbbell. Listen to our body. Beautiful. Keep pushing. Almost there. Last one of these. Hang in there. 10 seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. Last elbow plank for now at least. <laughs> five seconds four three set it up one go hang in there last one of these up the plank the beautiful plank same thing think about that posture is your 
pelvis tucked in, the four points of posture. Pelvis is tucked in, rib cage, chest, back body is open. The neck is just an extension of your spine, so keep that nice extension. I am shaking. I love it. My central nervous system is awake. I'm going to sleep good tonight. 10 seconds. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Uh, uh, I need that. Uh, please. I'm on headphone, so hopefully the sound is still on. One circuit down. Can I have that back, please? You got to put it back in mommy's ear, please. The box. Okay, so next circuit. We're doing one more circuit. Same thing. Three exercises. 45 seconds on. 15 seconds rest. First exercise. Gotta love them. Sumo squats. No, I need to use it. Sumo squats. So sumo squats down, pushing back up, pushing through your heels. You see that I am barefoot. It's totally okay. Also got my headphone back. Sumo squats and then wall sits, double legs back to back. It is okay. They're full body experiences anyway. So a wall sit, holding on for that 45 seconds and focus on that core throw that whole sit. And then last bit. Certainly least we're just going straight bicep curl so focusing on the pod bicep curls get ready 45 seconds on 15 seconds rest we are in this together we got a 10 second prep phase so body weight sumo squats or if you feel like it pick up those dumbbells hold them straight up here do the sumo squats holding the weights ready go these are this this is one of my favorite exercises. It's hard. It works, but it actually feels like everything's opening, moving some energy through my body. No, I got to leave them on. That's how everybody can hear me talking. Or you can pick up a guy like this, 31 pounds, and make him a part of the workout. Ah. <laughs> Hang in there. 15 seconds left. This is real life sometimes, even when the camera is not rolling, I promise you, this is what it looks like. I didn't even warm him. What was happening? He just knew mama was working out. Rest. Two wall set. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, wall set. So, confession time. This video is spliced together and this is this is my real life actual workout for today so this is basically I want to take this time to tell you it is okay to break up your workouts like I said it's not always pretty it's not always perfect right breaking up workout has does not mean that you didn't get in a good enough workout it does not mean that you did less in fact studies have shown that you actually get better results sometimes from breaking up your workout because you're giving these circuits more and more when you've had adequate rest, you know, when you're not super tired from the previous one. Rest. Bicep curls. Next up, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, good posture, go. You would just want to see me. Kenan is now in his pajamas. I was getting phone calls that cut out my video. There is life happens. Things happen. The intention, the expectation is to find a way that makes this fit into your life and not vice versa. And rest. <laughs> to the sumo squats. <clears throat> Three, 
Go. Don't touch it, please. Very good. So my squats. Hey, back up, babe. Back up, you can stand beside me. Pushing through the heels. These are still my favorite. <laughs> they still feel just as good as they did an hour ago. <laughs> they actually feel a little bit better. Better. Hang in there. 10 seconds. Don't worry about the arms either. It's whatever feels comfortable to you. Rest. Almost there. You got wall sit and bicep curls. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, bring it down. Last set of wall sits. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Pushing through your heels. Hold back. This is, it, it, I get it, it's burning your quads. It is a phenomenal core exercise. So everything's pulled in, pushing up against that wall. Anytime that your, your quads are actually a part of your core, your quads and your butt and all the way up your back, you know, into these crunches and these stuff. But the best way to get those abs going, engaged and uncovered is stuff like this. Hang in there. Five seconds. Two, one. Rest. Very good. Check out those legs. Bicep curls. Five, four, three. Soft knees. Go. Good posture. Start from the pelvis. Soft knees. Pelvis is tucked in. Belly button and rib cage is tucked in. Chest is nice and open. Shoulder blades are pulling together. And that chin is at a friendly level. <laughs> so you don't want to dread it out or stick it up. That neck is always just an extension of your spine. Hang in there. 20 seconds. Very good. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. Beautiful. My timer reset. Take a breather. We've got one more circuit left. So we are kicking it off with lying tricep extension. So laying flat on your back triceps here and then we are going to stay down here moving to scissors and then we are getting up for high knees so lots of abs high knees are here or you're going to take your time and just make it a march or alternate between the two so last circuit starting down on the ground you get a 10 second leeway here Tricep extension. So grab those dumbbells. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So keeping that spine flat on the floor. I will never get tired of talking about posture. So if there's an arch in your lower back, tuck that pelvis in, flatten that spine, your whole back flat on the mat. Those elbows stay right above the shoulder. So from your shoulder to your elbow doesn't move. Now, you can try keeping the dumbbells separated. That is ideal. If it's too much, drop down the weight. If, if that's too much, then you can turn that dumbbell sideways like this, holding each side here and dropping down like that. Rest. Staying down on the ground four scissor abs. Now set it up. Three, two, one, it ripped, go. Oh no. So again, keeping that spine flat on the, on the 
ground, tuck those shoulder blades underneath that chest so your chest and heart stays open, and only drop that bottom leg as far down as you can without lifting your spine off of the mat. So if it looks like this, then that's what that's where you are today. That's where you go today. If you can get it lower, let it go lower. The important factor is zipping up from your pelvis all the way through and keeping that spine flat on the ground. Three, two, one, rest. High knees or marching. So doesn't matter how fast you go. If you want to alternate between the two, push when you feel like you need to push. Slow it down when you feel like you need to slow it down. Go. This is your workout. So focus on that opposite arm is going, just like if you're running. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Don't get caught up in making it perfect if it's not going like that. Don't worry about it. Just try to get it that way. Keep that posture good. I'm really getting my mat moving. Hang in there. Nice, big, deep breaths. 15 seconds. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Back down to the ground. Tricep extension. Again, if the dumbbells, if you want to drop them on together, do it. Three, two, one, go. Where's Cam's phone? Are you going to do some yoga? You don't want to, you want to do some push-ups? Okay. Hang in there. Again, elbows stay above the shoulders. The only part of your arm that is moving is from the elbow to your wrist, to those dumbbells or no dumbbells. The top part of your arm stays strong and still. Again, the best part of circuit training is you're doing as many reps as you can. This is your workout. It's your practice. It's your day. Three, two, one, rest. Scissor abs. I told you this is real life. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Tuck those shoulder blades underneath that chest so it's nice and open. The neck is an extension of the spine. The spine is flat on the mat. Nice flexed feet. If you feel that clicking in your hip, that's an indicator that, that the core isn't working together as one working part. So focus on slowing it down, dropping it, maybe not as low, and really zipping up from your pelvic flooring. Pelvic floor all the way up. Don't go as low. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Beautiful. Up to marching or high knees. I'm going to go marching this round. Three, two, one. Again, at your speed. So if it looks like this, it looks like this. If you look like you are sprinting in a dead out sprint, like someone is chasing you or just like you feel really good and need to get some of that energy out, that so be it. If you want to mix this up, do a little marching, do a little high knees. That's perfect. Core is engaged. Pelvis is still tucked in. Good job, babe. You want to do it too? It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Hang on. We're almost done. Can you do fast feet, Cannon? Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Good job, babe. Give me five. Good job. One more round. We are almost done. Down to the tricep. <laughs> tricep extension. Three, two, one, go. Stay over here, babe. Don't move that or the thing will fall. Keep it going. Candace <laughs> moving some.
Dumbbells. Hang in there. 30 seconds. Keeping the wrist. Here, baby, here's yours. Here's your dumbbell. I got it. I found it. 15 seconds keeping their wrists and elbows is the only moving part. Elbows are staying straight up from the shoulders. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Sit their abs. I'm gonna come sit on mommy's belly. Help me. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Five seconds. Three. Two, one. So they're abs. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Keeping that spine flat on the mat. Oh. that dumbbell. Sorry, mommy, not sorry. <laughs> Keeping those scissor abs and keeping that spine flat on the mat. This is it, folks. Like, this is, I promise you, this is what it can be. It's okay. It's okay. 10 seconds. It's okay if it doesn't look perfect. It's okay if this falls a bunch of times. We just got to keep it going. If we're climbing all over, rest. Last round, babe. Okay, ready? It's time for the five feet. Show us how it's done. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, keep going. High knees, high knees, high knees. Fast feet, marching, whatever that has to look like for you. Keep it going. Good job, babe. Keep it going. High knees, high knees, high knees. You guys are doing an on job. Keep it up. Keep going. 20 seconds. <laughs> Catch up. 15 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds. You're almost there. This is it. Workout over right after this. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Awesome job. Again, this is sometimes what it is going to look like. Good job, baby. I could show you perfect videos. I could wait until all of the times that I have a child care, but the reality is that's not always when my workouts are happening. A lot of times, this is how it goes. And a lot more times, if some of it happens in the morning, some of it in the evening, it's broken up throughout the day. It is more than okay. It's perfect. That is what works. Make this fit into your life and you're trying to fit into something else you guys are doing an awesome job well done workout over we're all going to bed at least we're going to bed see you all later